I'm Liz. I'm a first volunteer, mentor on a first robotics competition team, and engineer at AndyMark. This video is about bumper construction. Please check out our other video about bumper mounting solutions as well. There are many different ways that you can construct your bumpers. For this video, we already have our wood planks cut and our mounting solution mounted to the wood. You may have different size bumper segments that you need to construct. This robot will have straight bumper segments on each side of the robot frame. Bumpers for first robotics competition robots are made using pool noodles. Information about the dimensions of the pool noodles can be found in the robot construction rules. Robot bumpers require that the corners of your robot are protected. There are a few ways to do that with a pool noodle. You can either wrap your noodle around the corner or cut it so that the corner is protected with the noodle. One way to do this is cut your noodle at a 45 degree angle and make a miter cut. The pool noodle can be cut to length using a saw or knife. Please be careful when doing this step. A blade with a serrated edge works well while cutting the foam. To make a 45 degree cut in your pool noodle, this pool noodle is two and a half inches. So if we mark two and a half inches from the edge, this mark will help us make our cut. We want to cut so that the top of the angle is at the edge of the noodle and the bottom of the angle is at this mark. When these two angled cuts are together, they should make a 90 degree angle for the corner of your frame. You can tape them in place on your wood plank. Make sure with angled cuts that the short edge of the noodle is facing towards the wood. Make sure that the tape firmly holds them in place, but does not squish them out of shape. Now that you have your bumpers cut to length and taped to your board, you can move on to cutting the fabric. Bumpers are used to indicate your alliance color. Teams will need a set of red and a set of blue bumpers. The noodles and wood will need to be wrapped with red or blue fabric. Ensure the fabric that you choose complies with the robot construction rules and is robust enough for match play. Take your fabric, ensure your fabric is wide enough to wrap around both the top and bottom of the noodles. The fabric can be longer in length and cut down to size later. Place your bumper in the center of the fabric. Wrap the fabric around the top and bottom. You want the fabric to be tight around the noodles. Cut your fabric to length, leaving extra to wrap around the edges. At this point, you should have already planned where your brackets are going to go on your bumper planks. You may need to temporarily move these out of the way to attach your fabric to the wood. Consider how you're going to put your team number on your bumpers. If you are gluing or using adhesive back numbers, you may be able to put them on after your bumper is constructed. For iron-on numbers, you may want to iron them on before you wrap your fabric around your bumper. Wrap the fabric around the top of the bumper and secure in place with staples. Ensure that you're wrapping your bumper evenly and neatly. It's helpful when attaching your fabric to work from the center and out to the edge. An easy way to fold ends is similar to wrapping presents. First, fold the outermost corners of the rectangle overhanging the fabric down and in to form a triangle or trapezoid. Then take the point or edge farthest from the bumper and pull it around the edge of the bumper. This method typically forms crisp outside corners of the bumper. It may take a few tries to get this corner right. Make sure when you're folding the fabric that you're not compressing the noodles too much and making a clean, neat corner that covers all of the noodle and wraps around and securely fastens to the wood. Once you've attached your fabric, if you've removed any brackets or fasteners, you can re-add them at this time. You may need to cut away excess fabric to make room for your brackets. For bumpers that wrap around the corner of your robot, you may want to have the noodle wrap around the corner of the wood. Make sure you measure your noodle so that it reaches from end to end, leaving no part of the wood exposed. Tape the noodle to the wood plank. When you wrap the noodle around the corner, make sure not to compress the noodle too much. The noodle needs to be there to protect the corner of your frame and robot. The edge of the noodle can have a straight cut edge. Ensure that it reaches the end of the wood plank. Wrapping a corner bumper has simpler ends, but more complicated folding. To wrap a corner bumper, Ensure that you have enough fabric by rolling the bumper along the length of the fabric. A large amount of extra fabric being left over while you're wrapping a corner bumper may be detrimental 
because of the folds around the corner. Wrap the edge of the fabric around only one edge of the bumper to measure how much you need to trim down. Be very careful not to trim too much down and waste fabric. This way to wrap a corner bumper is one of many options. It is also possible to start in the center of the corner and work outwards. To start from the edges and work in, center the bumper piece. Start on one bumper end and staple in place. Then wrap around and staple the other edge. Fold around the corner with crisp edges to your folds. Cut a small relief in the fabric to allow room for staples later. Staple this edge in place. Repeat on the other three edges of the bumper. Reinstall the brackets at this point and make sure that the bumper fits on the chassis. This is one way how to construct your bumper for competition. Make sure to check out the game manual and the robot construction rules for all the specifications for how to construct your bumpers. And make sure to check out our bumper mounting video as well. Thank you.